So today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the Pathfinder 2500 Hybrid. This is the 2018 model. We've got the standard console layout and it's powered with a Yamaha 300. Some of the additional feature we've added is the steering assist, which is great for these higher horsepower engines because they can be a lot to turn with hydraulic steering. So you've got very smooth steering. We've got the Yamaha digital gauges, so we're able to quickly track our fuel consumption, trip, trip fuel spend. And we've also incorporated the Raymarine Axum 12 Pro as our electronic suite for the boat. We're using through-haul transducers, so we're able to read bottom signal at high speed. We get a clean bottom signal at about 30 miles an hour. This boat is also outfitted with twin 10-foot power poles, so we're able to effectively anchor in up to eight feet of water, and the dual power poles are gonna keep us from spinning while we're on anchor. A Couple of things I really like about this boat. One is the ride. It's a step haul and it is very, very smooth through chop. It likes to go fast. It's very comfortable at about 30 miles an hour. We've got that 300 and at 30 miles an hour with a normal load of three people and a full tank of gas, we're burning about three miles per gallon. Um, it's got a top end of about 5,700 RPM and we're doing about 57 to 58 miles an hour, burning about 0.9 miles per gallon at that point. On the forward deck, we've got two rod lockers that are able to store anything for a beach day. They can each hold up to four rods, I believe in nine feet in length. Um, great for storing anything to go out for a long weekend, take the family out or load up your tackle, camera gear. There's plenty of storage. On the step in the front, we've got two insulated cooler storages right there. We've got one large fish box that is actually has a macerator attached to it. So at the end of the day, you can pump out all the blood and slime and push that right through the boat. It's also got a smaller forward insulated hatch that you can use as a temporary cooler. I use it quite a bit. And also on the forward seating, it has an ingle cooler with a cushion on it. So you're able to use that as additional cooler storage. You got a very large anchor locker, which is nice because that anchor locker allows you to store multiple anchors if you need to, or a larger anchor for holding this boat in offshore in heavier conditions. So for the trolling motor, we've got the Minn Kota Altera. It's controlled by a remote and we're able to do an auto deploy with that. So it's handy if you're back here working the helm, you can auto deploy that trolling motor operated right from the hip. You can stand back here while your anglers are on the bow casting, gives you full freedom to maneuver around the boat and also bring the auto deploy back up when you're ready to move on to the next spot. Towards the rear of the boat, we've got dual passenger seating with these fold-up seats that have very nice cushioning on them. So there's plenty of room to have it, you know, multiple guests sit down, be comfortable. Great for the kids so they're sitting below deck, very comfortable and safe. Underneath the exterior rod storage here down on the deck, we've got custom sea deck kits to help pad those rods against the side of the hull, keep them free from banging on the fiberglass and adds a nice customized look. One of the features that I really like about the back of the boat here is on the deck we have a nice cutout behind the the uh, helm right here so we've got a lot of room to be able to move around it gives you about an extra 9 10 inches which clears your space so you can move around here staying on the deck great for offshore fishing when you got a little bit of swell kicked up so you're not having to stand on top of the deck while you're fishing so feel very stable very comfortable we've got two live wells on board we've got a large 60 gallon live well here in the back and we also have a live well incorporated underneath the helm that has a plexiglass uh, viewing chamber right here. Kids love it. It's nice to see how your bait's doing while you're on the move. Very cool to have two different live well setups to be able to use on the boat. We've got two additional storage hatches here on the back. I use one as kind of my trash container and I also have one that's dedicated to my cast nets and, and cast net buckets. So that's kind of the dirty corner. Clean that out after every trip, but keeps the deck super clean. You don't have to worry about putting grass into different holds that are hard to get out and it works out perfectly. You'll notice about the 2500 is all the space you have up here on the deck. The forward deck is immense. You've got room for two anglers to fish comfortably side to side, pushing their arms out. Um, you can fit, you know, multiple kids up here when we're out here doing a family day. Very comfortable. It's very stable. And you have a nice lip, you know, to kind of a little toe catch here as well. You've got plenty of clearance to work around the trolling motor. 
and you've got the nice handy little deck space right here so you can walk down with that step makes it easy to get on and off the boat so to finish off here on the stern we've got a Yamaha 300 for power it's perfectly balanced on this boat Together with that weight, we can drift on the flats in about 14 inches of water, and we've got a running depth of about 9 to 10 inches. We've got a jack plate that'll trim up to about 4 inches, keeping 20 inches of the shaft down in the water. It's great for moving over shallow flats. You can still get very skinny, but it's extremely comfortable for offshore cruising. Those twin power poles are excellent for keeping us stabilized and in position when we're fishing mangroves, flats, or trying to pinpoint on certain groups of fish. We've also got a rear mounting bracket back here for the Minn Kota Altera. So when we're in deep water offshore, we can actually pull the trolling motor from the bow, attach it to the back, which is keeping it deeper into the water. You won't get that sputtering when you're running through chop out there that kind of gurgles and may spook fish like permit that you, when you're fishing a wreck. So the rear mounting option is excellent for fishing deep water, passes, beach tarpon, excellent little addition that you can do with that Minn Kota Altera. So here's our customized console setup. We've got the Raymarine Axum 12 Pro set up here for our electronic suite. It's nice you're able to sync in Spotify, Netflix. You've got side vision, down vision. So we're able to do multiple ways of, of sonar scanning. And it's got an excellent Navionics chip in it so you're able to get a lot of overview data for your chart plotter as well. We've got a handy switchboard right here. You got all your all your switches and all your access panel, very easy to get to. We've got our Yamaha electronic display, a Rockford Fosgate, sound system, trim tabs, power pole, and the uh, electronic assist here for our steering. So that makes it super smooth, super easy with that heavy 300 on the back. Now maintenance and accessibility is always something that's a priority. You want to be able to easily access your electronics, service them, diagnose an issue when it arises. Here up on the console, you've got a huge access into the console and all your wiring. The bottom part here, once you actually remove the cooler, you can fold out the whole thing, access your batteries, and fit almost entirely inside the console. So very easy to get in check fuses, check your wiring, and work on your batteries if needed. Lots of ample space here, easy to get into, very accessible for anyone of any size. Now maintenance features that I really like about this boat is everything is extremely accessible. We've got access right under here in the deck, right to all of our pumps. We can get to our bilge pump, our bait pumps, and our bubblers. A big guy like me can fit down in there, change out any wiring, change out filters, change out pumps, very easy, plenty of room to work. You don't feel like you're in a tight squeeze having to break your elbows to reach in there. Now for our power pull pumps, you're able to access those right here underneath the seats that I'm standing on. You've got plenty of room to get in there to access wiring, service pumps, or anything like that. So the maintenance is very easy and accessible, which makes it very nice if you're a DIY guy and want to maintain and take care of the boat on your own.